Welcome to the second part, guys. In the second part, we are going to write the code for object query. Now copy the whole code of the insert and and then paste on the code section of the update button. Now you only need to change the update query. Now go to your database and click on SQL update and remove the zone number because zone number is auto incremented so you need not to include the rule number copy the update query and paste over here remove this section it then is equal to what last name is equal to what and address is equal to what where roll number is equal to what no PST dot that is string the parameter uh, index for roll number is 4 because it takes the parameter 1, it takes the parameter 2, it takes the parameter 3, and it takes the parameter 4. Roll number dot get text save then run your file and type to an update Click on update. Update successfully. Check whether the roll number is updated or not. Go to your database. There you go. Here the roll number 2 information is updated. Now we are right, I'm going to write the code for the Z table. Now insert one Z table. Go to panel and drag one table and drop over here. Before writing the code for the Z table, you need to download one file named rf2xml.jar. Download this file from any website as you like. After downloading this file, go to your netbin and then right click on the libraries and Click on AirJar slash folder and then open this file rs 2 xml Now go to the source and write on function. Public void. So table data
Kitten function public void so table data write the code try connect your database driver manager dot here be here and a manager dot bit connection JDBC MySQL localhost plus database name the yes Java new write the query we have to view all the data from the database so click on sql select asterisk copy this sql query and paste over here PST is equal to con dot prepare statement RS is equal to PST dot execute query Now look at your table name for the property and the table name is the table one. Go to source the table one dot set model db utils dot result set to table rs now call this function Jason Pandas so message dialog save this and call this function the initialize section of here Over here, now run your file. You will see the whole data stored in your database.
now insert some data if you want to see the data instantly after adding the information you should only call this function in the course section of the insert Go here now. Then run the file, insert something. There you go. Now call this function in, in every bottom code. Your readable information will be updated immediately. Now delete row number two. Click delete. Readable. Also updated immediately. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you think this video helps you in some extent, then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and then like this video and share this video. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.